All right, the point of this video is to help you become familiar with the website that is associated with this class. Let's take a look at it. Of course, the first thing that we're going to want to do is to open up our browser so that we can enter in the correct URL. And the URL will be raidgrinder.net. Raidgrinder.net. All right, once we're here, you'll want to go to the login button. And you're going to want to enter in the email that you have registered with this course. For me, that is going to be my uh, email that's associated with South Texas College. So mbailey1 at southtexascollege.edu. South Texas and then we also need to enter in either our password or the registration ID. And the registration ID is that number that begins with L and gets you two numbers, a dash, and then seven more numbers. Once you've entered in those, you can log in. So this isn't going to be exactly the same as what you're going to be seeing as students because this is the view that the instructor gets. Nevertheless, when you registered, you should have signed up to a particular class. So the one that I'm making this video on is the summer 2019 class. What you should also have access to are the assignments. So for me, I have these upcoming assignments. And what you can see on my view is there are several assignments that I have created. So different parts of different chapters. And for each one, they have an announcement date. So a date when they become live. And you might not be able to see the assignment until they've been announced. I'm not sure how that's going to be handled by the website. But you also have a due date associated with each one. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see the assignment once the due date has ended. But you can click on the assignment. You'll see that I'll have notes for students. So I'll give you guys notes. It'll include the page number of the material that's being covered. And then I might also give you some other information. And then there will be, in fact, maybe lectures for you guys to take a look at if you want to. And these are lectures that were created by the authors of the textbook. And then there'll be the actual exercises that I've assigned. And you'll be able to download those exercises directly from here instead of having to always go uh, back to your Tarski World files, exercise files, or your Fitch exercise files. And that'll be true for each of these exercises. Just to give another example, let's say we come down here. I have these notice, notes for students. I even tell you which ones are extra credit. So if you decide not to do those, it won't harm you. The lecture and various exercises. All right, you'll also be able to have access to the reports on your grade. For me, I can access all the students' reports, but you should be able to have access to your reports telling you how you did on uh, particular assignments. And you should also be aware that some of our exercises will have hints to the problem. 
Not every single one of them, but some of them. So you can take advantage of that as well. That concludes this video on how to navigate the Language Proof and Logic website. I hope you found it helpful.